Right, let's try this again after just accidentally deleting the video. Right, what it is, I've had a few people have asked me how you wire up these uh, Webasto Thermotopsy heaters. And I'm going to do my best to explain how it works. Fucking wires. Right, what you've got is a plug that fits into there on the main heater, right? So you can see, I think you can see the numbers, yeah, just about, you see. Number pin two is the positive, that's the switch, switch positive, that's what turns it on. And you've got pin six, which is the output to, it's the pulsed output to the fuel pump, which makes the fuel pump run. Uh, let's look at the back of this again. All right, you've got the Pulse fuel pump wire is black and green. The positive, which is there again, you see pin two, is orange and brown. That one is a switch like that. That one goes to a switch and then it goes straight to your power supply, or your battery or whatever you're going to use. Right? That, that plugs back. Back in there. Oh yeah, by the way, that one there, that orange and green, that's not needed. That's something to do with the diagnostics. I don't have that. It's, uh, it's all cut off in, in the loom. But yeah, right, there's that. And then you've got the main heavy duty plug, which is this one, which fits, which fits in there. So yeah, that's, that's that plug. I don't know if that's, no, that's not numbered, I don't think. But anyway, the red, that red there, is the main positive. That's always live and always negative. That's that's not switched. There's no switching on that one. The only one that's switched is pin two, which is the orange and brown off this wire here, right? And the black, uh, the, the other one, the on pin six, the black and the green, goes to the wire, which goes to the fuel pump, so that's, follow that one there. That goes up to the pump, which is that there. So that, that's that's the pulse positive. Now the other wire from the fuel pump goes to earth negative. That's always negative, there's no switch on that. That's, there's no switch, that's all done by the unit itself inside there. So that is basically the way they're wired up. Well, this one, some of them are different, but they're usually BMW and Rover which are CAN bus driven, and they're, I don't know, don't deal with them. Don't like them, don't want nothing to do with them. So that's the way it wires up. So it's pin two on there, orange and brown, switch positive, switch it straight to your battery. Black and green is your output, pulsed output for your fuel pump, which makes it run. Now, I'll just show this, uh, I've got it all running, it's... Uh, Set that damn thing up, right, so that now, you see that is now running. Everything's doing what it's supposed to do. And all that's wired up. I've had to cut all this wiring. Somebody asked me and I couldn't remember, so I had to cut all the loom and show them. But this is the way it works. It's pin two, switch positive. Pin six, pulsed output for your fuel pump. Which goes straight to the wiring for the fuel, but it doesn't matter which way it goes to the pump, the pumps can take it either way. And then the other side, the other wire of the pump goes to your negative. Hopefully that's a big help. And uh, now, because the information for these is very limited online. I have, I have to do this by trial and error. I'll blur a few of these things up. The other wires here are just like the, uh, the glow plug, your fan, your water pump. Oh yeah, some of these don't have water pumps on, which is another problem, but that's for another day. So yeah, that's it. That's how it works. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch us later. Set up.